the Northmen. In 895 AD, King Orvandil returns to the island of Hraffensi, reuniting with his wife, Queen Gudrun, and his heir, Prince Amleth. To prepare Amleth for his eventual ascension, the father and son participate in a ceremony overseen by Orvandil's jester, Hymir. Hymir tells Amleth that his destiny is fixed and cannot be escaped, and Amleth vows to avenge his father if Orvandil is ever slain, rather than live his life in shame. The next morning, Amleth's bastard uncle Fjallnir stages a palace coup, personally beheads Orvandil, sacks the hill fort and carries away Gudrun. Amleth narrowly escapes Fjallnir's assassins and flees by boat, swearing vengeance. Years later, an adult Amleth is a berserker within a band of Vikings. After attacking a village in Gararki, Amleth encounters a seeress in the temple of Svetavit. The seeress orders Amleth to remember his oath of vengeance and tells him that his fate is intertwined with that of a maiden king. Soon after, Amleth learns that Fjallnir the Brotherless has lost his throne to Harald of Norway and now lives as a sheep farmer in Iceland. Posing as a slave, Amleth sneaks aboard a ship taking slaves to Iceland. He encounters an enslaved Slavic woman named Olga, who claims to be a sorceress. They are taken to Fjallnir's farm, where Amleth learns his mother has married Fjallnir and born him a son named Gunnar. One night, Amleth follows a vixen and encounters a he-witch, who facilitates a spiritual dialogue between Amleth and the skull of Hymir, whom Fjallnir has also murdered. Hymir tells Amleth about Dragr, a magical sword that can only be drawn at the gates of hell. Amleth enters a mound and obtains the blade after fighting its owner, the undead mound dweller. He hides the sword upon his return to the farm. The next day, Amleth is selected to compete in a game of Natalikra against another farm. The game turns violent and Gunnar is almost killed, but Amleth saves him. As a reward, Fjallnir's adult son, Thorir, grants him overseer duties and allows him to choose a woman. During the evening celebrations, Amleth and Olga make love, 